Okay, so it is Friday night. I decided just now spontaneously to film a weekend in our life in Boston or a weekend in my life in Boston. We just made returns on Newbury Street. Got some Starbucks. I got the peach ice cream tea unsweetened. So good. And now we have one more return to make at um, Primark. And then we're gonna go back to the apartment and we're gonna make um, stuffed peppers with ground turkey and have a good Friday night. Saturday. I just cleaned the whole apartment with Ant. We did like vacuuming, Lysoling, all of that. And now I'm getting ready and we're gonna go take a picture for my blog and then come back inside. We're just gonna do it in the park next door and then come back inside, get ready, pack lunch, and we're gonna go to the seaport and sit in a park and have our lunch and just explore another area of the city. And then I think tonight we're gonna go to dinner somewhere, but Pretty chill Saturday, but yeah, we have a lot going on just exploring wise, so it'll be a fun day. Okay, so my makeup is done. I just have to throw on some jewelry and then we're gonna go downstairs to the park and shoot this look. I'm wearing the cutest like white linen blouse and these white paper bag shorts. They are both from H&M, I think. I'm not positive, wherever they're from, I'll link down below. Um, but they are so cute, so comfortable and I'm wearing like a white on white look, um, which is like my go-to summer, summer palette, so. The recipe for a great sandwich, yellow mustard, turkey, specifically pepper turkey. So it has to have like that seasoning on the side. So it has like a little bit of a flavor that doesn't taste like store-bought gross turkey. So pepper turkey. If you have pickles and lettuce, pickles and lettuce. If you don't have pickles, cucumber works just as well. And on a rare occasion, some Colby Jack marble cheese. And that is all. Okay, so we just made our sandwiches and packed them in Ant's backpack right here. And um, we're gonna leave in a few minutes and we're, the park that we're gonna go eat our lunch in, there's actually a Trader Joe's like right nearby. So we haven't been to a Trader Joe's in Boston like since we've ever, but like since we've moved in here, we've been doing our grocery shopping somewhere else, but we really wanted to get some of the like special Trader Joe's snacks and foods that they have. So, all right. Um, on my little Kate Spade list, it's so cute, let me show you. I have a coffee stain on it, but it's um, the Kate Spade, the long list, I guess. Um, I actually won it in a giveaway on Instagram like three years ago and I always forget about it but it's just so cute and keeps me on task and there's like enough room to write a few things on each number so you don't have to like limit it to 12 I usually will try to fit in a few things but our grocery list today is pretty small so you know just cheese turkey eggs ziplocs um bread lettuce any of their special frozen things we like some blueberries slash fruit that I put in my um, smoothies every morning and then some salad dressing. So I'm gonna bring that to-do list with us and we will head to Trader Joe's. Okay, 
So it's so nice. We're in the seaport. Got my Starbucks. Um, by the water it's so cool and windy today which is actually really nice because the past few days it's been like 90 degrees so humid but the view here is like perfect what do you think of the seaport so far it's nice you excited for trader joe's yeah i can tell Okay, so we just went to Trader Joe's. I have a bag here and also got a reusable bag. We um, had already purchased reusable bags from the Trader Joe's in New York and we thought we brought them with us but couldn't find them anywhere. So we just got these two new ones and they are so cute. There's a lobster. It's just adorable. So we have our reusable bags. We have our Trader Joe's favorites. We're now gonna head back, unload the groceries and then we took down some names of restaurants around here. So we're gonna go home, look at the menus of every place, and then hopefully make a reservation for tonight. Okay, so we, this is the right way. We went home, dropped off all the Trader Joe's groceries. We had snacks. I had leftover stuffed peppers from last night and a cup of coffee, cause it is freezing out and by freezing I mean like 65, it's 65 so. degrees but I'm just excited about fall so I was like I might as well have a hot coffee because I've been ha having only ice lately and what did you eat he had a chicken Caesar wrap and now we're going back to the other grocery store right up the street because there's a few things I want to get to bake and we like their deli meat for sandwiches <laughs> So Ant and I just got ready and we're having a little drink before we go to our dinner reservation. So I made myself an Aperol Spritz. Um, Ant was having some sort of mixed drink, but yeah, we're very excited for a lovely Italian dinner. Okay, so this is my outfit for dinner. Just this white lace top, this black skirt, and then I'm wearing these black espadrilles that I got from Just Fab. I will link them down below. They are so comfortable. walk back from dinner we're both so full so we're gonna go back to the apartment and change into comfortable clothing and then probably just chill for a little bit and then we're gonna come out and walk around because we're literally that full and hopefully get dessert some sort of gelato or pastry or something delicious aunt come here rate what you had for dinner 10 out of 10 i'm stuffed what did you have though Calamari as an entree, like I said. Meatballs and ravioles. And how were they? Amazing. What would you, like, will you be back and would you order the same thing maybe? Yes and yes. And so he had the meatballs and ravioli, like I said. Or like he said, I had the chicken, broccoli, um, ziti. Like an Alfredo cream sauce. I would rate it 10 out of 10, but... If there's two of you, you could definitely split it. It was so filling, yeah, it was just big. so big, but delicious. And for a drink, I had the Lemoncello Spritz. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Uh, we are cooking breakfast, so I thought I would show you our little spread. So. Aunt, what are you making right now? Sausage and bacon. We have some sausage patties, turkey bacon. Let me show them. In the oven, I have been working on some home fries, and then we're gonna do some eggs and some fruit. Okay, so here's the spread. 
missing the coffee, but. Okay, so I think I shared this in my clip yesterday, both in the store and also when I was making my IGTV, but the Jibani Oat Pumpkin Spice Coffee Creamer is completely dairy-free, um, plant-based, gluten-free, whatever, no nuts. Um, and I'm going to use it in my coffee today. And I know it's a little bit early, but it is so good. And it's Okay, so we are all showered and ready for the day. And we're going to go to Home Goods to do some shopping. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to shop? Look. Oh, that's my new key ring, the bow. Okay, so I wanted to show a few of the fall things that we got from, why does this look so zoomed in? From Home Goods. So this pillow is the first thing right now, or actually this is from TJ Maxx, but I'm pretty sure they had the same ones at Home Goods. It is so cute. I just thought it would be perfect for our living room. So I just have it in this shell chair right now, which is what we call these two chairs. Our couch is getting delivered in two weeks. So once our couch is here, we'll have the living room a little bit more put together. But until then, this is just kind of our storage room. Um, I also got these white glass pumpkins. I got two of them. They're so cute. And I just think they'll match pretty much any room that I put them in. So right now I just have that one sitting there. And then the other one is right here on this kitchen island that Aunt just built. And I have it right next to this candle that I got, which is golden chestnut. It smells just like any sort of fall scent. Um, and then we got these plaid. They're like mustard, orange, green, yellow, blue. Super like fall color palette um, napkins. It was a set of eight. So I just hung them there for some decoration for the fall. But this is the mobile kitchen counter island that Aunt just put together. How was it? Good. Yeah, it was a lot of work. It was like two hours worth of working. But we already have storage in there um, and some utensils and etc. in there. I'm about to bake and I'm going to make these super easy Betty Crocker peanut butter cookies. And I'm going to decorate them with these fall Halloween um, sprinkles. So I know I'm a little bit early and it's August, but in the store I was just so excited when I saw them. So we're going to start baking, but very excited that we have some fall decor now. Okay, so change of plans. Um, we didn't put the sprinkles on the peanut butter cookies. They were just, it was too hard and it was too much work. So um, they were like melting into the cookies and they were turning out so gross looking so I'm gonna wait until I do like a pumpkin frosted cookie and then I'll do those Halloween and fall themed sprinkles but these peanut butter cookies look so good and they make the apartment smell delicious so now we have a cute little cookie set up on our new kitchen cart and we are ready to start the week okay so we just had dinner. It started to rain, which is honestly so nice. I love the rain and love how cold it is the past two days. It literally feels like fall and we're not sweating in our apartment. Also, we're not using our air conditioner, which is nice, but it is about to start pouring and we're just walking up the street to 7-Eleven so Aunt can get an iced tea. So, Aunt, wave. So, that's all. I probably won't film any more for this weekend. So thank you for watching this video and like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Right? Yeah.